Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. Start by opening your door and behind your door handle, you'll notice that there is a little cap right here and a seven millimeter behind that, which we'll take out. And then right up here, there's another hidden panel. We'll take that cover off and there's a T30 Torx bit uh, or a Torx bolt right here that we'll want to remove. Around the perimeter of the door, there's three seven millimeter bolts that you'll want to take out next. We're going to use our door panel removal tool that is available from 1A Auto. We'll start right here on the edge of the door and you'll feel the door panel pop away from the door. You can work your way along the bottom and remove the rest. We'll move up to the top and right between the rubber seal and the door panel are some more clips that you'll be able to remove with some more prying. And then you can lift it straight up and over the door lock. Once you have the door panel loose, you'll want to take out this Phillips screw right here for the tweeter on the top of the door panel. Right here, you just pop this thing down and pull out. You can move on to the next one, which is the power window switch. And you'll need a pick for this to slide into this tab. And then you can pull it straight down. Then you get your power window switch which you'll push the tab down on and pull out. Got your door handle, which goes like this. And lastly, you have your trunk switch, which the tab is on the bottom of. And now your door panel's free. Here we have the power mirror switch. To remove that, we'll flip the door panel over. And if you take a flat tip screwdriver, you'll see a tab on the top and a tab on the bottom. Usually if you just push down on the tab on the top, you'll be able to slide the whole switch right out of the door panel. Just like that. To pop it back in, you come on this side of the door panel and just snap it right into place. Putting the door panel back on, we'll start with the trunk switch. You'll put the pin down, and snap it into place. Then we can do the door handle, which you take the ball and slide it into the handle itself. Kind of pull some tension on it. And then it slides right over here, and clips on, like that. Then you got your window switch, which goes in here. And then your mirror switch, which is right here. And lastly, you have your tweeter, which goes up through the hole in the door panel. Comes out this side. The tweeter wire just plugs right into the tweeter like this. And then it sits into the door panel, like so. And you have your one Phillips head screw that screws right in here. You'll put your door lock up through the hole in the door panel. And then you can start snapping the door panel into place.
All right, we'll start by putting the seven millimeter right in the front of the door panel here. And there's one down at the bottom, somewhere over here. The last seven millimeter is right here on the bottom. And you wanna go around and just snug them up. Right here in the door handle area, you'll have to put the Torx bolt back in. You'll replace your one seven millimeter that goes behind your door handle. And then you can put in your covers. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.